Hey guys, what's up? Abomination9 here, back playing some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. We left off, I think we were opening up the Stardust Acceleration set. We got most of the cards out of that. There's only nine packs left in there. Still missing a few, which I'll just get off camera probably. But, new set came out today slash technically yesterday. Black Storm Rising. We're going to be jumping into that, though as usual we're going to be looking at the deck I'm using, I guess. Just because I've made it a habit. I'll try to get through this fast. Which, it's best, I think. Well, not best, but I like using it with Fusion Time. I was using it with Heavy Starter with Zane. But Fusion Time uh, lets you actually use Worm Zero in this because this is a Worm deck. And you don't have to take up any space or, you know, a terrible poly, uh, poly in your deck. You can just use Fusion Time to get it when you take damage. So, yeah, pretty normal. I, like, I really want Worms to be a thing. I, we need more Worm support. If they're... If they're if it even exists, it has to exist. There, there can't only be one worm fusion monster being worm zero. There has to be others. So hopefully some more worm support comes in. Though we do have a plethora of a plethora of worm cards. But yeah, I have three uh, tributes, which you have worm king, worm victory, and worm noble that I'm using. Worm King, despite being a two tribute, only needs one, so he's actually really good, and he can s sack any other worm to destroy anything your opponent has. So that there's your card destruction, since we don't have anything over here in our spells and traps. Worm Victory, when he flips, uh, destroy every monster on the field that aren't worms, which is pretty good, especially if he survives that strike, unless uh, your opponent has cards that can't be destroyed, like Stardust. Stardust Dragon, or, uh, I think some of the Black Wings actually, when they're destroyed for the first time, they don't get destroyed. There's one card in the Black Wings set that's, like, when, uh, this card would be destroyed once per turn, don't destroy it, or something like that. Just cards that are like that. And then Worm Noble is when he flips, uh, if he survives the damage, inflicts damage equal to half the attacking monster. Or maybe that goes off and you know that goes up anyways even if he doesn't survive you do half damage to your opponent so if you get slapped with the blue eyes they're taking 1500 damage so that's not bad then you have jelly here jettalisk he uh survives two hits because he comes back from the graveyard when he's killed uh worm apocalypse is your back row destruction when he flips destroy the back row solid he becomes a bigger blocker the more worms that are in the graveyard and if he survives a strike blows up a back row as well so a bunch of back row stuff worm opera when he flips reduce everything on the field by 500 attack except worms uh worm call special summon out a worm for free and that includes victory and noble so you can special summon out victor and noble if they have a monster on the field and you don't so that's what this does uh widespread ruin you should already know what that does uh shape queen shape waifu just allows us to use any of these uh Synchro, Stardust, Uruk, Giga, or Gigante, I mean, and Gravity Warrior, and then three faint plans to make sure we can slap out these uh, tributes. So we can, like, start stacking them. Or if we get, like, a Worm Opera, faint plan, put down another Worm Opera, faint plan, so that they have a full board, so when these actually uh, pop off, they're reducing multiple monsters' attack. So it's okay. And then, of course, if you take damage, fusion time is when you take at least 15 damage. Yeah, when you take 15 damage, grab a poly. And then if you have four, because you want to have at least four uh, monsters, you poly out Worm Zero and start destroying uh, their monsters and summoning your worms from the graveyard. So it's okay. It could be better if there was more worm stuff, but... Okay, we didn't take too long for that. It's only been four minutes. Black Storm Rising main box. We have 42 packs we can open. God, 180 packs. Jesus Christ, we're not going to get jack out of this. Uh, we have Sakuretsu Armor, which is going to be okay. Of course, Synchros is all I really care about is grabbing Synchros. Uh, we're not going to look too much at these because we can. We kind of want to be surprised. So yeah, we're just going to go straight in. 
of course, specials, I guess. Three packs of Super Rare, which is like really the only way to get any of these cards. Otherwise, you have to spend thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of gems to actually acquire all the, like a, a playset of Supers and a playset of Ultras. Raptor Wing Shrike, shuffle one Blackwing monster you control into the main deck and add one Blackwing monster from your deck to your hand. Reptilian Viper. When this card is normal summon, you can select and take control of one face of monster with zero attack your opponent controls. Blackwing Tornado, the Reverse Wind. When this card is normal summon, while your, your opponent controls a special summoned monster, which is a Synchro or an Anki, you can target one Blackwing, Blackwing Tuner in your graveyard or the, for hires, I guess. You cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck for the rest of this turn, except Blackwing Monsters also special summon, mo special summon that monster, but its effects are negated. So yeah, grab a tuner, but its effects are negated. But that does not mean its tuner effects are negated, because that's not an effect. Uh, Silver Wing, equip only to a level 8 or higher dragon type synchro monster twice per turn. It cannot be destroyed by battle twice. If it would be destroyed by battle by a card effect, you can destroy this card instead. So twice. So that means as your eyed Silver Dragon, that means Brute Drago. Uh, I guess probably one of the Dragiles? Uh, I don't know what they're called. There's a set in this. There's a archetype in this set that is dragons, I think. So it could be thrown onto one of them. So that's not too bad. Bujingi Swallow. During main phase one, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard and then target one Bujin monster you control. It can make a second attack during each battle phase this turn. Other monsters uh, cannot attack during the turn that you activated this effect. And Reptilian Garden. On this card you control as destroyed and sent to the graveyard, add one Reptilian monster from your deck to the hand. I was hoping there would be some reptile support since they added Reptilians. So I could get like kind of like a second hand card for the worms. Spiritual energy is settle a machine. As long as this card remains face up on the field, all spirit monsters remain face up on the field and do not return to their own hand. The owner's hand during the end phase, even if they are normal summoned or flip summoned, discard one card from your hand during each of your end phases. If you do not destroy this card, when this card is removed from the field, all face up spirit monsters return to the owner's hand. Reptilian Poison, actually only if you control a face-up Reptilian Monster, change one defensive position monster your opponent controls to face-up attack position and reduces attack to zero. Dragoonity, okay, so those are the cards. Dragoonities. Uh, Dragoonity Partisan, when this card is normal summon, you can special summon one winged beast type Dragoonity monster from your hand, then equip it with this card. While this card is equipped to a monster, th that monster is treated as a tuner. Okay. Virginia Swallow, Gladiator Beast Spartacus. This card cannot be special summoned except by the effects of Gladiator Beast uh, Hoplomus. Hoplomus. When this card is special summoned, add one Gladiator Beast Equip spell card from your deck to your hand at the end of the battle phase. If this card attacked or was attacked, you can return it to the deck and special summon one Gladiator Beast monster from your deck except Gladiator Beast Spartacus. And then there's Hop, uh, Hoplomus, it's himself. If this card was special summoned by the effect of Gladiator Beast Monster, its original defense becomes 2400. At the end of the battle phase, if this card attacked or was attacked, you can special summon, special summon it into the deck. Special summon one Gladiator Beast Monster from the deck, except Gladiator Beast Aplomus. Which apparently he's the big deal in this set for Gladiator Beasts. Ooh, we got a Synchro. Shadow Impose, when a Synchro monster you control is destroyed by battle or by card effect and sends to the graveyard, check one other Synchro monster. So summon it from your extra deck, one Synchro monster with the same level type as a monster, but with a different name, you can only activate one Shadow Impose per turn. And I think that means swap a Stardust for a Blackwing, or a Blackwing for a Stardust. Unity Primus Pilus. When this card is normal summon, normal special summon, you can select one uh, face up winged beast type of Dragoonity monster you you control, equip it with this with one at level three, a lower Dragoonity type dragon type monster from your deck. And we got Dragoonity and Knight Trident. This is a what's eight? Sorry, seven. Dragoonity type tuner and one non tuner winged beast. So very specific deck. Once per turn, you can send up to three cards you control to the graveyard to look at your opponent's extra deck and send an equal number of cards from there to the graveyard. Wow. Destroy. 
like absolutely ravish a freaking um destiny hero deck synchros whatever assuming no one plays synchros but freaking just dump all those ankies to the graveyard turn one if you're able to get this guy turn one Shadow Impulse again. Reptilian Hydra. That's a 6. So that's pretty easy. Except that you need a Reptilian Tuner. When this card is Synchro Summon, destroy all face-up monsters with attack, zero attack of that your opponent controls, and draw one card for each monster destroyed. The hyper-specific play. Black Wing Harmaton. The Dust. If you control a Black Wing monster other than a Black Wing uh, Heart Harmanta, the Dust. You can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Blackwing Harmanton, the Dust, once per turn this way. When this card is normal summoned, uh, you can target one other Blackwing monster you control. Increase the card's level by that monster. Spiritual Entity Settled Machine, Mist Valley Baby Rock. When this card is sent directly from the hand to the graveyard, you can special summon it. Which doesn't... Isn't there a Blackwing... Not Blackwing. A Mist Valley card? It kind of looks like a Vulture. So we'll call it Mist Valley Vulture. Doesn't it... Um... Send... A card to the graveyard? Is it from the hand or is it from the field? Because I know it can special summon itself if it... There's... Send something to the graveyard, I think? I don't know. Or if it sends something to the hand, I don't know. There's probably some synergy there, and I think that that is the card above it, right here. This card that should be right here, or this bird that should be right there. I think that's the card I'm talking about. Dragonity Knight Bark Bartra. A, a Dragon Tuner and a Winged Beast. Again, it's very specific. When this card is single summon, you can select any number of Dragon type Dragonity monsters in the graveyard and equip them to this card. This card gains 300 attack for each Dragonity card equipped to this card. It's not bad, I guess. I haven't got anything special so far out of these 10. Blackwing, uh, Abro, Abrolof, Abrolos, the Mega Quake. Well, we got quite a name. Does it actually do anything good? Say two tribute. This card cannot be destroyed. Cannot, this card cannot destroy monsters by battle. If this card battles a monster after damage calculation, return that monster to the hand. Once we're turned during your main phase one, you can have this card lose exactly 1,000, so it becomes a 16. But if you do, return all cards in your opponent's spell trap cards to the hand. Meh. Uh, Bujingi Raven. When a Bujina monster you control is destroyed by battle with an opponent's monster and sent to the graveyard, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard to destroy the opponent's monster. Okay, it's not terrible. But it's a two for one, though. Uh, Blackwing Gladius, the Mo uh, Midnight Sun. If only one face up the monster you control is a Blackwing monster, other than Blackwing Midnight Sun. You can special on this card from your hand once per turn. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. Still nothing. Uh, Serpent Suppression. Face up attack position. Monsters with zero attack. Your opponent controls cannot be destroyed by battle with Reptilian Monsters. Okay. So keep them on the board and keep slamming them. Black Winged Strafe. Select one Black Winged Monster from your hand to the graveyard. Or send one. Uh, to select one defensive decision monster, you control, your opponent controls, send that monster to the graveyard. Meh. Reptilian Medusa. Now, I saw this card, and I was like, you gotta do Medusa like that. Medusa should not be this ugly and disgusting. Come on, now. Like, really? You really had to do Medusa like this? She should not, absolutely not, look like this. That's terrible. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard and select one face of monster your opponent controls. The attack of the second monster becomes zero and it cha cannot change its battle position. So it's not bad, and it's the one cost on that. End of the pack, didn't get anything special. A black wing strafe, double tag team. Activate only when, a, when you special summon a gladiator beast monster, special summon one level four or lower gladiator beast from monster from your hand or deck. And reptilian hydra, we got two of those now, almost play set. Did they get anything special, but we got two Hydras, which is okay, and I guess a Trident and a Barcha. Anything else that stands out in that? Not really. Let's go in for the 20 now. Single Karib. Tillion Gorgon. 
See, Medusa should look a bit like this, maybe? Since it's a Gorgon. This card attacks a monster after damage calculations. The attack of that monster becomes zero. Also, it cannot change its battle position. Okay, so you can just ram this into something and force it to become zero. Ujingi Swallow and Jugudidi Aklis. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon one Jugudidi monster from your hand. Uh, then equip it with this card. When this card is sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster, select one card on the field to destroy it. Okay. Single creep. Oh, Blue Glint, though. Spring of Rebirth. Creature life points by 500 points every time monsters return from the field to the owner's hand. Okay, spirit deck. Uh, Serpent Suppression and Black Wing Breeze the Zephyr. This card is really cute. Like, I want to point that out. Like the first thing I, was, I thought when I saw this, wow, this card this card is absurdly cute, and I like the colors. If this card is added from your deck to the hand by a card effect. You can special summon this card from your hand, so you could use the um, continuous spell card to do this. It cannot be used as a secret material except for black wings. Okay, fine. This is a good card combined with the spell trap or spell card. Triple Creeps on that. Blue Glints and Jaden. So hit me up with Queen, Raptor Wing, Mist Valley Windmaster. Uh, once we turn, if both players have five or more cards in their hand, you can activate the, if this effect to make both players send cards from their hand to the graveyard until they have four. So whatever. No, it is Blackwing Shura, the Blue Flame. Is this a good one? When this card destroys the opponent's monster by battle and sends graveyard, you can special summon one black green monster with 1500 or less attack from the deck, but its effects are negated. Neg it, but its effects are negated. Okay, that's a decent card. Chipples again. Oh, yellow glints. And Jaden once again. It is a normal monster, meaning it is the Phantom Griffin, I think. Shadow Impulse, Black Wing, Tornado, the Reverse Wind, and Phantom Griffin, which I am not upset about because it is a 2000 no cost, so that is perfectly fine. Triples again. Psychedelic Glint. And Jaden Face. What do we hit me up with Synchro? Come on. Uh, what could this be? It's either Harpy's. Uh, hunting grounds, which I doubt because it's psychedelic glance. Hollow too, not soul release, which I don't hate soul release. I actually do want that. I guess I have this card in real life, uh, and it's good for card for decks that want to banish like dinosaur, like Infinity Tyranno, I believe. Uh, and wants cards to be banished, so you can purposely banish with soul release to get Infinity Tyranno as strong as possible. Uh, Reptilian Gorgon. Gladiator Beast Torax. If this card was special summoned by the effect of a Gladiator Beast monster at the end of the battle phase that this card attacked or was attacked, you can return it to the deck to draw one card. Okay. And what is this Hollow Ultra? Cards of uh, Consonants. Discard one Dragon Tuner with a thousand or less to draw two. So which is Stone of White or whatever it's called. So yeah, this is pretty good because you're using two for three, so you're, this is a plus one, right? You have stone, you destroy it with this card, which is your minus two at that point. But then you're drawing two, which equalizes you to zero, but then destroying white stone nets you a blue eyes. So you're gaining three at the cost of two, so you're plus one. Uh, tuner's Barrier. It's like one phase up Tuner monster you control. That monster cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects until the end phase of this turn. Okay, and that's freaking awkward, dude. Um, yeah, that's not bad. Tugunity uh, Corsesca? Corsesca? This effect can only be activated while this card is equipped to a monster. If the equipped monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can add one level 4 or lower monster from your deck to the hand with the same type and attribute as the monster this card is equipped to. Okay. Medusa again, why'd they gotta do it like that? Dragoonity Angusta Clav the second? Or the Clavi Clavi E. Angusta Clavi E. Okay, good for you. While this card is equipped with a dragon type Dragoonity monster during battle f between this attacking card and defensive position monster whose defense is lower. Then the attack of this monster inflict the difference as battle damage to your opponent. 
Bujingi Raven again, and our little cutie Breeze the Zephyr. Triples. No glint, though. Oh, we got a Synchro, though. Glad to be Spartacus. Fake Feather. Sl uh, send one Blackwing monster from your hand to the graveyard and select one normal trap card in your opponent's graveyard. The oh, God, this card is dirty. The effect of this card will be same as the selected normal trap card. I got hit with this while fighting against uh, freaking stupid hair, the guy who uses black, black wings. He like destroyed my wall of D and then used fake feather to become a wall of D. Like, ugh, it was disgusting. You're gonna need to try it in again. Dragon the Mastery. Uh, each monster you control that is equipped with a Dragonity monster gains 500 attack, and that it seems to be permanent, because it's period. Once per turn, you can select one face-up monster you control and equip it with one Dragon-type Dragonity monster from your hand. Okay, this is a continuous. Dragonity Primus Pilus. And Dragonity Knight Gay Bulge. Guy Bulge, I should say. A Guy Bulge. Dragon Tuner and a Wing Bee, so again, specific. If this card attacks or is attacked during the damage step, you can remove from play one only Wing Beast type monster from your graveyard to have this card gain attack of that monster until the end phase. A single Kareeb. Cyborg Doctor. Uh, that looks like. That's not Cyborg Doctor, that's freaking, um. <sighs> Reinforced Cyborg. Reinforced Human Cyborg, I think is his name. That's who this is. Like, don't try to lie to me. This is Reinforced Human Cyborg. With some clothes on, sitting on a throne. Which I think is another uh, psychic type. Also, why isn't he a, why is he a spellcaster, not a psychic? That's clearly Reinforced Human Cyborg with another psychic dog attached to him. And I think this chair, again, is another psychic type. Once per turn, you contribute one tuner monster you control to special summon a monster from your graveyard with the same attribute and level as the attributed monster. Okay, s weird, but again, he should be psychic. Yamato no Kami. Yamato no Kami, what does that mean? Does that mean God's Helmet? No, it doesn't mean. Kabuto no Kami would be God's helmet. Uh, Yabu Yamuto. I don't know what this means. But it's something of God. This card can uh, not be normal summoned or set. This card cannot be special summoned except by removing from play one spirit monster from your graveyard. This card returns to its owner's hand during the end phase of the turn. It is special summoned. If this card destroys the opponent's monster by battle, you can destroy one spell to drop card uh, your opponent controls. So let's read that again. So you norm spell to him by removing a spirit from the graveyard, so that's pretty free. And you can stop him from leaving. So you hit something and it's it, it destroys back row as well. So that's pretty good. If you're gonna need uh guy bulge. That is it. So we got cards of uh, uh consonants, which is pretty good. Uh Blackwing, sure the blue flame, and Phantom Griffin. Which is alright. And then we got this cutie here as well. So I'm fine with that. As long as we get another one of these, I'll be fine. So let's open up another one of those. While I do that, I'm going to open up Google real quick. Hopefully not destroy my computer. Since, uh... Uh, Duel Links is very unstable. It's constantly crashing on me. And it's really annoying that it does this. Apparently, Google Translate cannot translate Yamato for me. For some reason. I do not know why. Let me do this. Copy that real quick. Do that. Yeah, it does not know what that means, unfortunately. I probably do know, and i just forgotten, but yeah. Reptilian Scylla. This card, though this is supposed to be Scylla. 
an Injustice of Scylla as well. Why they gotta do it like that? Like, I guess this card is kind of cool. It's cooler than Medusa, just because of how ugly Medusa is. But why you gotta do Scylla and Medusa like that? Scylla should be a little girl, a cute little girl, and Medusa should be, let's quote unquote, actually look pretty, in my opinion. This card destroys a monster with zero attack by battle. You can special summon that monster from the graver to your side of the field and face up defense position. The effects of that monster are negated. Okay. And it's 18, so this is your beater. Uh, another baby rock and hysteric party, which is apparently really good. Activate this card by discarding one card. Special summon as many copies of Harpy Lady as possible from your graveyard. When this card, piece of card leaves the field, destroy those monsters. So. You can kind of, if you don't have any harpies in the graveyard, if you have a harpy in your hand, destroy, discard the harpy to the graveyard, and then special summon that harpy. Triple Creebs. Cyborg Doctor. Gladiator Beast. Uh, Gaio Diaz. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, I think it's Gaio Diaz. God, this small text. This card can not only be special summoned from your extra deck by returning the above card you control to the deck, which it's Spartacus and just another gladiator. Don't need Polly. When this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the offense of the destroyed monster at the end of the battle phase. If this card uh, attacked or was attacked, you can return to the extra deck to special summon a gladiator beast monster from the deck except Spartacus. Except Spartacus specifically. Blackwing Tornado, the reverse win, single Kareem. Tuner's Barrier, cool. Blackwing Backlash. When opponent's monster declares in a direct attack, while you have a f have five or more Blackwing monsters in your grave, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. That is kind of harsh. You're going to do uh, Partisan again. Single Kareem. Blackwing, uh, Mega Quake again, Raptor Wing Strike, another Barkcha. Single. A pigeon, shadow bird, or snow bird, I mean. Pigeon, can make special summon once per turn. You can target one other spirit type monster on the field, return to the hand once per turn during the end phase. If this card was normal summoned or flipped face up, return it to your hand. So, I don't know much about snow birds, but the first thing that comes to mind when using this is a very specific play that I always wanted to do, and I don't want to talk about it just in case anybody knows, doesn't know about it, so I can just save it for myself. But, there's a strat you can use with spirits when they return to the hand, which is um, you play a spirit, use uh, the box. I forgot what it's called, but it's a box that destroys one of your uh, destroys your opponent's monster and gives them one of yours. So use that box. Uh, I think maybe let's let's say it's mystic mystical box or something like that. Use mystic box to destroy their monster and give them your spirit monster. But then your spirit monster returns to your hand at the end of your turn. But if you have that uh, continuous trap that doesn't, or continuous spell that doesn't let spirits go away, then you would have to use Pigeon to force that spirit back into your hand. So that's why you would want to use that, but that's a very specific amount of cards. You need a spirit card, you need a Pigeon, you need that continuous spell, and you need Mystic. Uh, Mystic Box, and your opponent needs to have a card on the a monster on the field. That's five cards you need to do to effectively use this pigeon play. So you might as well just use a normal spirit with a Mystic Box, no other additives. Just sack their monster for your spirit. Get your spirit back at the end of the turn. Double a uh, double tag team, and Garuda, the Wing Spirit, cannot uh, be normal. Someone said this can only be spell summoned by removing play one wind monster in your graveyard. During your opponent's end phase, you can select one face up monster your opponent controls and change his battle position. That's pretty okay. Bujinki Raven, Gladiator Beast, Lannister. This card is special summoned by the effects of Gladiator Beast, monster target one to Gladiator Beast, monster in your graveyard, banish that target, and this card's name becomes that target's name. Until the end of the until the end phase, at the end of the battle phase, of this card Attacked or was attacked, you can shuffle into the expert summon another gladiator beast that isn't Lannister. So I think why you would want to change its name is so that you can uh, fusion summon. Blackwing Gust the Back Blast. Didn't we get this guy already? If you control no cards, you can special summon this card from your hand. If your opponent monster attacks the Blackwing monster you control, the attacking monster loses 300 attack during the damage step only. Oh, we got another synchro. Double tag team, fake feather, and bark cha. 
Blackwing Strafe, Jukudity Koraseska, and a third Hydra, so we have a playset of Hydra. So we're at the point where we have a lot of the card. Blackwing Black, a uh, Backlash, being a Rebirth, cool. We're playing Medusa. I think we have a playset of Medusa. A Black Boost. Banish two, a face up, a black wing, and tuna monsters your opponent control. Or tuna monsters you control to draw two. Black wing, jet stream, the blue sky. During damage calculations, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard to prevent a black wing monster you control from being destroyed by battle. And another partisan. So we got Jack from that. But we got a playset of Barcha. We have a playset of Hydra. Oh, we got another tuner's barrier. I think that's it. Oh, we got another a second Fick Feather, which is okay. So hopefully we start getting something useful now. Please, Konami. Triple Creeps. I guess they heard me. Oh, Psychedelic and Jaden Bam. Bam, I mean. Silver Wing, Reptilian Poison, and I guess one of these guys. It is Breaker the Magical Warrior. If you normal summon him, put a counter on him. He gains 300 for that one counter, and you can move that counter to destroy a spell or trap. So it's not bad. Triple Creeps again. Another Psychedelic and Jaden Face. Hit me with the Synchro. It is another Phantom Griffin, which I am fine with. The Trillian Gorgon, Blackwing, Harmaton, and our second Phantom Griffin, which is okay for our Harpy deck. Trigonity Angus the Claw VE. Why is your name got to be like that? We're after Wing Strike and another Trident. Now we can start getting through these faster. Tilling Gorgon, Miss uh, Baby Croc, a rock, I mean, another Hopeless, Hoplomus. Spearfish Soldier. This card gains 100 attack for each of your banished fish, sea serpent, or aqua types. Okay. Shadow Impulse and Blackwing Silver Wind the uh, Ascendant. You need a Blackwing Tuner and two or more other monsters. You need two to summon him. When this card is Synchro Summon, you can target up to two face up monsters on the field who with defense lower than the this card's attack. Destroy those targets. You cannot conduct your battle phase a turn you activated this effect. During each of your opponent's turns, the first Blackwing monster you control that would be destroyed by battle is not destroyed. Cyborg Doctor, Blackwing, Clemma, the Haze. During your opponent's battle phase, if you control no monsters, you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one sequel monster in your graveyard, special summon that target, but banish it at the end of the battle phase. This is a quick effect. Another Viper. I think we got Viper in the first pack, and that's the second time we've seen a Viper. Like, into our 30 uh, set now. Actually, is this our 40? Are we already, like, 40 in? Guard Minds. Activate only when a card is activated with an effect that would target a target and destroy one monster you control, negate the effect and destroy that card, then inflict 500 to your opponent. Okay. Which would be um, Sakuret's Armor, Shadow Impulse, Reptilian Gardener, Triple Creed, Psychedelic. Hit me with O oh, Black Wing. It is not Black Wing. Tuna Barrier, Super Suppression, and Harpy Queen. We got the Queen, at least. You can discard this card to the graveyard, add one Harpy Sunday Ground from your deck to your hand. This card's name is a Harpy Lady while it is on the field. Or in the graveyard. Not in the hand. Dragonity Primus Pilus, Mist Valley Baby Rock, and Trident again. Can I at least get a second queen? Luke Lintz, for whatever reason. Guard Mines, Reptilian Poison, and Gladiator Beast Semnite. If this card was special summoned by the effects of Gladiator Beast Monster, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends the graveyard, you can add one Gladiator Beast card from your deck to grave uh, to the hand. At the end of the battle phase, blah, blah blah, do the normal Gladiator Beast thing. So we got Breaker, and we got Queen, and another Phantom Griffin, and I guess we got Ascendant as well, I guess, and Spearfish. He might have some use. Uh. This is okay. It doesn't work against Widespread Ruin, but it does work against Sakuretsu, right? With Sakuret's armor. I think it's, it would be a silent U. Because Sue's and Sue, lots of the times, have silent U's. There's a lot of silent U's in Japanese, so Sakuret's armor. 
When an opponent's monster declares an attack, target the attacking monster, destroy that target. So yeah, Guard's Mind was specifically put in here because they put Sakuret's armor. I think. I mean, we still have two more packs open, so we still need to do the 42. Like, I want this guy. Black Wing, Tuner, and anything else. Okay, that's fine. You could just have this in a deck and just use Black Wing Tuners. Uh, Jukunidi, Guy, Dirg. I don't know, I just want Black Wing and... That's it, really, because I don't really know anything about the rest of them. I want the uh, Black Wing Dragon. I want the Black Whirlwind. This is a good card. Her, just because. Waifu, I guess. Um, Sakuretz, obviously, we need. Soul Release, just because, like... Any card that I actually own in real life, I want a playset of in the game. Uh, of course, Harpy Behind the Ground. I want that Harpy deck, because I like Harpies. Why is there Ojamas here? Does that have any kind of synergy with Ojama? I don't know if there's anything else. Because none of these singles are really freebies. They're a very specific deck they're supposed to be played in. Is there any card I don't own? This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Oh, this is a Junk Synchron, isn't it? Uh, this one. That. That, that, that. What the heck is this? Big one warrior, weird. Uh, that, that, and that. So we still got two more at least, so let's get to those two. We're wasting enough time. It's gonna be like almost 40 minutes. It's gonna take three hours to upload or edit this video. It's gonna take like five minutes to upload, but three hours to, or four hours to edit. Reptilian spawn, which we did look at real quick, and this is Gorgon in the back, I think. Remove from play one. Remove from play one reptilian monster from your grave. Spell summon two reptilian tokens that are level one nothings to your side of the field. To your side. Okay, this is a hardcore play here. Sack a reptilian from your graveyard. Spawn two reptilian tokens. To your side. Mystic box. Their monsters for your tokens. And then you have two zero zeros on your enemy side of the field and have just essentially destroyed two of their monsters. I just really like Mystic Box, if you didn't know, but I never use it. But, I mean, you could do that, Mystic Box. Trade your opponent's monsters for your two zero zero tokens and then start doing your Reptilian thing. Uh, Backblast and Dragoonity Legion. Continuous Trap. You can activate one of these effects, but you cannot special summon that monster from for the rest of the turn, except Dragoonities. Track one Dragoonity monster card in your and your spell or trap card zone, special summon it in defensive position. Track one Dragoonity monster you control, equip that target with a Dragoonity monster from your graveyard. You can only use this effect of Dragoonity Legion once per turn. This is kind of like um the Sentai guys. The bug Sentai guys. I forgot what they're called. Single Kareeb in our last pack, so nothing special. Reptilian Poison, uh, Kalmia, and another Barcha. Oh well. We got a place of not place that, but we got a full drop of Phantom Griffins, I guess. We got uh, Constance. We got Breaker. Meh. I kind of want Vasky. I mean, Bora is pretty much a must, but I would never have a place out of three of them, so Blackwing deck is almost. Uh, impossible for me to get uh, blacked wing dragons okay tuner and a non tuner he's the only freebie he's the only freebie in the in this set freebie uh, synchro sakurets need that so next time we go in this we need to get sakurets we need to get black wing though look how many packs we still need to go through we need another queen um, what is this Cephalitas gains 200 attack for each plant monster in the graveyard. Sent from the field to the graveyard. Okay. I guess we can get two of him. Two of the Harpy Hunting Grounds. I think that's it, really. That's all I care about. There didn't really seem to be too much good stuff down here. There isn't any reptile stuff that's just generic reptile, so I can't use it for the worms. But yeah, that's okay. There's nothing much, there's not that much in here that I really like. 
I mean, I like spirit monsters, but there didn't seem to be too much spirit stuff here. Other than that one spell that you kind of need. Other than that, meh. Oh, this is just... just if you control a Synchron or a Synchro, kill something. Freebie. So that's pretty good. We need that. Hey, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Tune into the next episode. Like, subscribe, comment. Just do. See ya.